Okay guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. Uh, again, I apologize if I'm sounding really low, I'm just not feeling too well. But we did get a data download, uh, we did get to see the LR Goku and Piccolo in action, as well as these three easier units, these uh, three free to play units, right? Um, this guy's a super strike, these two are farmable from a story event, and then there is some other news to talk about in a second. So. For starters, just very quickly over LR Goku and Piccolo, um, I haven't really watched too many showcases. Uh, I've watched like, the odd rotation or so. Uh, and yeah, they did look good in those preliminary showcases, but the one thing I'll talk... I say talk, but the one thing I'll say about them is, like, where are you going to run this unit? Um, it's the same problem that I discussed in yesterday's video. Like, they are really good, and I think this Goku and Piccolo form is especially very strong, right? Remember... As long as you're above 50% health, they have 300% defense, they greatly raise defense as a super attack effect on the 18 key. They also perform an additional super attack, so that makes them hit a lot harder as well because they stack attack on the 12 key. And they're just guarding for the first 5 turns, right? Um, the one thing I will talk about with this Piccolo um, is, you know, he's pretty good. Uh, I don't think he's as good as the Goku and Piccolo though, right? Just because he does lose out on a lot of defensive power. The good thing is that their links don't change, but again, like... We talked about this earlier, or we talked about this yesterday. How many people are going to have SK or Nappa to link uh, alongside this unit? How many people are going to have the Int, LR, Goku, and Piccolo to link alongside this unit? And are those units good enough to get it done uh, in something like the Ultimate Red Zone? Um, probably. Uh, you know, as long as they're not taking super attacks, I think they'll be fine from normals. But the thing with this Piccolo is that he only gets, what, 100% defense here? Uh, he gets another 100% defense, I believe, when he collects three key spheres. Um, and that's it, he just gets 200% defense. Um, he doesn't have guard, and whilst he does stack defense, I believe the calcs have been done, in fact, I did calculate it myself yesterday, to surpass the Goku and Piccolo's uh, post 18 key defense, or 18 key defensive stat, the Piccolo form would have to super attack, I believe, five times. Again, uh, the condition to transform is when four terms have elapsed and you're under 50% health or once you've received seven hits why you'd want to transform though you know within the first five turns i really don't know just because again this goku piccolo form is very strong with the guard so you know you transform on turn six like how realistic are you how realistic is it to grab five super attacks with five 12 keys because again uh, the thing what this piccolo wants to be doing if you remember he nullifies on the 24 key and he gets a lot of buffs when performing an ultra super attack and when his key is 24 or more, and again, he gets the massively raised attack for one turn. So I think the best way, honestly, to use this unit is you just stay in the Goku and Piccolo form, like, for the for the most part, right? Just don't transform, exchange into Piccolo. Um, the only time that you really want to exchange into Piccolo is maybe something like Super Battle Road, because, uh, again, you don't need your defense to be that high. Um, he does a lot of damage on the active skill as well, because it is an active skill attack. Um... And so you tra exchange into Piccolo, you perform the active skill. If the enemy is still alive, you still need to grab, I say you still need to grab, but you then grab Piccolo's 18 key and you finish off the enemy. So for the most part, this form should only be used as a finisher. But again, uh, we've really only seen preliminary showcases. I uh, have not seen this guy in like Super Battle Road when he's not next to Intel or Goku and Piccolo because remember that Intel or Goku and Piccolo is only on one of this unit's teams. That's joint forces and at the minute... 150% is not good enough as a leader skill. So that's Goku Piccolo again, very good. The numbers they put out are really exceptional, but I, I just, they're, they're, they're a unit very similar to like physical Janemba. I don't really know how to properly rate this unit. So that's that. Uh, moving on to the translations for these free free to play units. Again, thank you to Luka Dokkan. Uh, oh, okay, we should have opened it in advance. Great, let's just quickly open all three of them. Alright, so we'll start off with Tarble, right? Yeah, we'll start off with the Tarble. Remember, he's available from the free-to-play store event as well as the Vegeta and the Super Strike Vegeta uh, is available. Sorry, no, it's not as well. It's the Gotenks and the Tarble who are available from the story event, story event to farm. And then Super Strike Vegeta is available from the Super Strike event. So leader skill, that's uh, so whatever. Um, raise it, allies attack by 30% for one turn. Okay. Change STR keys to AGL. Attack and defense 100%, a 30% chance to dodge when there are two Vegeta family category allies in your team. 5% dodge, okay. And attack and defense 50% when attacking, when three keys are obtained. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, it's a multiplicative buff. And then an additional 5% dodge and 50% attack and defense when five key spheres are obtained. And he also supports siblings bond by two key and 30% attack and defense. Seems pretty solid to me. Um, I think... Definitely not a unit you want to use in like Infinite Jungle History or like legendary events, but I think in short form content, 
for something like uh, siblings bond SPR with the support the fact that he's generating his own orbs um, I would think it's quite likely to get all of his passive active and he's getting um... oh wait no this buff this instance uh, of a buff is not activated when attacking but this is so that will help him quite a lot uh, and of course the dodge thrown in he'll be sitting at 40% chance to dodge I feel like they could have slapped you know supreme damage and raises allies attack and defense by 30% for one term that would have shored him up defensively post super but uh, he's not bad, I suppose. Of course, the problem with this unit is, like, categories and links and linking partners. All right, go tanks. Fusion, 3 key, 70%, okay. Raise attack and defense for one turn. That's pretty good. Attack and defense, 50%. An additional 50% attack and defense for five turns from the first appearance. He then gets 100% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Again, that's really good. That's a multiplicative buff. Medium chance to perform an additional super when there is only one enemy. Okay. And then attack and defense, 50% when the attacking enemy enemy's defense is lowered pretty interesting because he does himself lower defense and i feel like dokkan typically gives a lot of these units lowering defense as a super attack effect so i feel like we can probably get this off but he, he gets the medium chance to perform an additional super attack when there's only one enemy when you're facing one enemy i feel like you want to be a stacking type unit right because that's typically in the infinite dragon Ball history stages the legendary events and all the ultimate red zone i'm not saying that you want to use this unit in the ultimate red zone but uh, typically, I think with stages which only feature one enemy, you want to be very good defensively late into the battle. And I just don't know uh, if this guy has the chops. Again, I don't really have their stats pulled up. Um, let's be honest, right? Like it's just, They're free-to-play units. Uh, and then Easy A, Kid Vegeta, 3 key. Okay, raise the attack for one turn, supreme damage, and high chance to stun. Okay, I'm going to have to make sure to mute that. Uh, passive, attack and defense 100% when performing a super, pretty good. An additional 20% attack and defense per attack performed. Okay, that's pretty good again, because that is a... Actually, is it? That's a buff very similar to the third form Freezer, right? The side value who dropped alongside the LR full power Freezer, so that's pretty good. Uh, an additional 50%, sorry, additional 20% attack per super attack performed up to 100%. An additional 50% defense when there's another youth category ally attacking in the same term. Okay, more. An additional 50% defense when there's another gifted warriors uh, unit attacking in the same turn. And then performs an additional attack which has a medium chance to be a super when key, sorry, when three key spheres are obtained. Okay, he actually probably looks the best out of all of them. Just because he has a lot of different buffs going on, right? And he has value in something like super battle with his high chance of stun. Youth and Gifted Warriors, though. Um, I think Gifted Warriors is fine because he's a Vegeta-type unit. Again, you just need to get him alongside another Vegeta, Piccolo, Frieza. But Youth is a team which is lacking, I think. Um, definitely needs more buffs. And it does suck as well because that is the... It's, you know, the, an additional 50% defense locked to here. But, again, I don't really think it's that big of an issue because I feel like for the most part, when you're using these units, you will be... Uh, really only getting like shattering the limit and prepare for battle off some of these units i believe have wonky link sets so they all look pretty solid um again it's hard to judge these units just looking at their kit but all of them again do seem pretty solid I mean, again i'm i think i'm most impressed with the, the super strike vegeta but gotenks probably have some value uh, and tarble's actually pretty good as well again i just wish they'd maybe bump his dodge chance up to 50 percent but otherwise he's pretty good and then the final thing to talk about is Prime Battle Vegeta. He is easy aing. Um, I say he's easy aing, but yeah, um, will be awakened to the limit Z in the Extreme Z area awakening. Uh, it will be scheduled to be it's scheduled to be held at a later date. Um, and it also pull up his kit, right? Like what what could they really do? Um, so leader skill will probably jump to like what 100% all stats. It's whatever. Uh, he's on a decent amount of categories, which is fine. It's just his link set, right? He doesn't have PFB, but he does have Royal Lineage, which will help on the Vegeta family team specifically, as well as Saiyan Pride. Where's this for Vegeta, by the way? Does, how, many share, how many links does he share with him? Ah, okay, just the three. Okay, I was going to say, because I saw Saiyan Pride, I was like, okay, that's a pretty big link for this guy, right? Because um, Vegeta right now, he is in a bit of a weird spot. I feel like he's better than LR Super Saiyan for Goku's EZA, but you can't really proc all of his links as reliably or as consistently as the Goku, because Goku family links, oh, I say Goku links in general, a lot easier uh, to activate. Uh, let's just scroll back up. So 15,000 attack, 20,000 defense, plus an additional 15,000 attack launches two additionals for four turns after receiving an attack. I mean, honestly, I wasn't expecting the AGL Evolution Blue Vegeta to uh, gain the ability to launch super attacks through his normals, but 
they could give a similar treatment to this guy, right? He launches the two additional attacks for four turns after receiving an attack, but they both have a 15% chance to perform an additional super. I suppose they'll also give him... I don't know, like, what would they give him here? Like, 50% attack and 100% defense? What are his stats, by the way? Uh, I didn't pull him up. Cards. Uh, okay, this is going to be a pain to find him. Uh, right, int, int. Did I miss him? Did I miss him? Did I miss him? No. Here he is, okay. Because, again, his stats won't change. Uh, his defense is actually very high. Um, maybe they won't give him 100% defense, right? I, again, it depends, because... The 12 gives you a red attack effect, he has to pick up something. They could honestly just slap greatly raise attack and defense in one turn. So yeah, I mean, that would be pretty good, right? Maybe they just go raise his defense in one turn here, give him the greatly raise attack and defense in one turn here, give him 50% attack, 100% defense at the start of turn, and then he gets an additional 50% attack and launches two additional attacks for four turns after receiving an attack. The only problem is that 100% defense, it's just not good enough. They'd have to give him something else. Maybe like... I don't know, like, damage or I don't know. I think that'd make him too broken again. I don't really know what they're going to do with this Vegeta, so... Like, it's just up in the air as to what I'm trying to speculate. But the reason why... Uh, like, his defense is so high. Like, are they really going to give him, like, defense and guard or defense and damage reduction or defense and dodge? I mean, Vegeta in that fight was taking a lot of hits, right? Purposefully. So maybe he gets, like, a... Oh, maybe they give him, like, a similar mechanic to Intel Evolution Blue Vegeta where he builds defense and or damage reduction per attack received. I really don't know, but thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think? That's pretty much everything that is available. Again, the schedule for these units. Um, let's see. So you're dropping on the 14th at ATM. Actually, all of them are dropping on the 14th at ATM. So yeah, that is a Friday. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.